Hi, Goldie here. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to focus on Medicaid and how it's being affected by health care reform. So if you recall, the Affordable Care Act does two things. One is it created insurance market reforms and it created an individual market. What's that mean? It's going to bring care, the coverage, to 32 million more Americans. 16 million are going to be covered by Medicaid, another 16 million in the state exchanges. Both platforms are going to be handled by the states. Now, states are, are, are real concerned about this because they just simply don't have the funds. In fact, most of them are actually on the, on the brink of bankruptcy. Now, with the Affordable Care Act, the federal government is actually going to provide money to help build the exchanges. But come 2014, the states are on the docket to, to um, operate them out of their own budgets. And they don't have the money for it. Now, um, you know, why is this? Well, it has to do with the economy. Because Medicaid, which is partly paid by the federal government, but also paid by the states, but Medicaid rolls are so high right now because of the economy, because the unemployment rate is so high. You see, when folks lose their jobs, they lose, in most cases, their coverage, their health insurance coverage. So then they, they, they're forced to kick on to the Medicaid rolls and get their coverage from there. Over the past two years, there's just been a huge... Um, strain on the Medicaid systems, and again, states can't afford it. If you look across the board uh, on people being covered, you know, about 150 million Americans are covered by private health insurance. 50, 50 million are covered by Medicaid, and 43 million are covered by Medicare. That number's going to jump up a lot in Medicaid. And the doctors just, unfortunately, aren't there to see the patients. Medicaid, the system is, is dysfunctional by nature, unfortunately, and, and the, soon to be insolvent. But the really disadvantage of it is that it's not providing the access to care for the people that need it the most. The reasons for that is that doctors simply are not seeing Medicaid patients. They get paid very little uh, in reimbursements, and then in order to capture that money in a reimbursement, they have to fill out an enormous amount of paperwork. It's just not worth their time. So what happens? Most people just go to the, the local hospital's ER, sit in there for five, six, seven hours. The hospital's going to incur that cost, and these, these folks could have been treated in so much less time by a local doctor. The system just doesn't make sense. Now, <laughs> the problem is, is that it's at near capacity. You don't have many providers. You have a ton of patients looking for care. Come 2014, you're going to have you know, another 16 uh, million people join the system. All these folks, the people that are in there today, and all the new entrants into the system, they're all going to be competing for the same doctor. It just doesn't make sense. In fact, come 2019, you have about 84 million people in Medicaid looking for care. $900 billion is what it's going to cost us a year to run that as a country. All states collected. Left unchecked, the way it is now, come 2019, 93% of the federal revenues that we bring in in this country are going to go to the entitlement, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Something needs to be done. These, these people need care. They need access to care. But you got to have the doctors and physicians that are going to see them as well. Next time, we're going to focus on, uh, on Medicare. Thanks a lot. Look forward to the next time. Take care.